Sometimes in Desmos, the graph doesn't look exactly the way we want it to. So let me give you an example. If we had a quadratic like x squared plus 50,000, okay, well, you might know right away that this is going to be up really, really high. So we're going to have to zoom it out, zoom it out until we see it. And it looks kind of weird because we know this is a quadratic. It should be a nice U-shaped curve, but it kind of look, just looks like a line up here, right? Even if I zoom in closer, you can barely see that it's a quadratic. So how do we fix this? Well, I'm going to go to this graph settings button here, the top one that looks like a wrench. And notice that uh, we're really high on the x or the y axis. But on the x axis, it doesn't really go very far left or right. Okay, so what that means is why don't I change the minimum and the maximum x values to just be like negative 10 to positive 10, right? I don't need it to go all the way up to 9,898. And now if I do this and I change the, the view, I could zoom it out now and you could, you could see that it's, if I zoom out even more, it's a nice curve, right? Kind of like we were expecting. So I guess I probably should have made my X values maybe between negative 300 and positive 300, but I was just kind of guessing. Okay, but you can see this is a little bit better of a view. So really all I did was I changed the scale of the x-axis to be a little bit different than the scale of the y-axis, if that makes sense. So play around with those numbers. The best way to get to know Desmos prior to taking the digital SAT is just going to be playing around with it like I'm doing here. In your free time, go ahead and use it and try to make up different problems or use Methodize and the problems in there are going to help you to get some practice as well, obviously. But yeah, that would be one thing that you might want to familiarize yourself with is changing up the scales on the axes. Of course, if I want to go back to the default zoom, I could click the home button and sure enough, that's back to where we started.